it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing some that I'm currently testing out for you guys. So I've just been really, really into skincare lately and I've been wanting to try some different things. So this is some of it that I'm trying. Actually, I have some little samples that I got like this little sample set. So I'm going to be testing that. I'm not going to talk about that today. So I'm not sitting here saying I've used this for a while and blah, 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 I'm not. I'm going to give this all a good try before I share my recommendations, but I'm, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. I'm gonna share why I'm using what I'm using. You're gonna see me apply some of this, maybe all of it, I can't remember, but at least most of it, you're gonna see me applying it too. And we're gonna just chit chat about it. So really, really quickly, if you're new here, I share makeup and skincare, sometimes fashion. For us mature ladies, if that's something that interests you, please consider clicking that subscribe button below. Make sure you click that notification bell because I don't want you to miss out on my future content. I try to, this channel is all about helping each other. So in the comments, you guys will also, if I share something, you'll let me know if you tried it, you liked it, didn't like it. Just because I say I love it doesn't mean you're going to love it. Just because I hate it doesn't mean I'm going to hate it. But I just want this to be a helpful channel for everybody before you go out and spend your money. I want you to hear other people, besides me, other people's thoughts on products, and then you can decide whether you want to spend your money on it. Okay? I am not a channel that I like everything. A lot of the stuff I don't like. I'm very, very picky, and I feel like the more products that I test out um the more I don't like <laughs> but let's just face it you know what I mean like you got to get the good stuff you got to weed through some of it to get to the good stuff and I am your voice of reason and mom's got to wear some reading glasses or I can't say okay all right one of the things I was interested in testing out is this this is from you beauty and it's called the resurfacing compound so let me tell you a little bit about that so what it says about this, it says it dubbed a holy grail addition to your skincare routine. The resurfacing compound visibly improves skin appearance in just three to six days without the likelihood of irritation and replaces up to six products in a typical skincare routine. So that was one of the things that I was interested in about this is because if you are someone that you can't afford to get 50 different things you don't want to you want to keep your skincare routine really simple this could be something that would be helpful to you it's pricey okay a lot of the stuff that I'm sharing is pricey I am gonna go and do some drugstore stuff too so just stay tuned it just takes time to to actually use the products and like I want to test these out. I want to give them a good try before I recommend them or not recommend them, okay? But I am going to be doing some drugstore, so keep that in mind. And any time that you use my affiliate links on my channel for makeup or skincare or whatever, I receive a small commission. That money goes back into my channel so then I can buy more products to test out for you guys. So I really, really do appreciate when you do use my my affiliates, you guys know I'm always honest about that. I share it below in the disclaimer and I'm sharing it again with you guys too, okay? What it says, is says brighten, resurface, renew, tighten, equalize, and defend with one complexion boosting compound. A clean, high performance formula designed to optimize your daily beauty regimen without sacrificing results. Smoother, brighter, revitalized skin looking skin begins to emerge within only three to six days pores look diminished skin appears brighter as dark spots fine lines and wrinkles visibly fade it says it's clean cruelty free gluten free non-gmo vegan tested for safe on all skin types and skin tones tested and safe uh, around the eye area and this is made in italy so some of the ingredients that are in here has antioxidants it has stabilized vitamin c it has stabilized vitamin E, it has peptides, it has stable retinol, it has hyaluronic acid and AHAs. So that's why I said this is like a one and done. If you are somebody that doesn't want to use a lot of different products, this could be good for you. Now, is it going to work on somebody like me that has mature skin? Is what's in here, do they have enough of each compound going to be enough for me to see a difference? I'm going to let you know on that because that's the big thing. Uh, I'm not in my 20s or 30s. I'm 54 years old. 
And for reference, in case you're new here, I don't have any procedures. I don't have fillers. I don't have Botox. I've never done that. I'm just trying to do what I can with skincare. I have really good family genes for sure, but that doesn't mean that I have to let go of my, like I have to take care of my skin. Okay. And a lot of you have even noticed that since you've been watching me over the several years, you can see that my skin has gotten better and I actually look younger than when I started my channel. And I see that too. I see, and I hate saying this because some people take it like, oh, you're so good. I'm not. Okay. I'm not that person. I'm not that person that's going to go toot tooting herself. Okay. I'm not that person, but I'm just honestly telling you that when people find out my age, when they meet me in person, they're usually shocked. And I'm not saying that to sound like I'm all like, Ugh. I'm not. That's just a fact that people tell me that. I have people that are either my age or people that are younger than me that are totally shocked. So I'm just sharing that. Okay. I always hate saying that because people always get like a bug up their ass or something about it. It's like, I'm not, I'm not a stuck up person. Okay. Please. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. They also have a moisturizing as well, which I'm not trying, but maybe I will. Maybe I will try it if I end up liking this. Um, I'm always going to have a lot of different skincare in my, what I do, because I really like skincare. You don't have to have 50 million things, but like I said, the reason I want to try this is for, for you. If you are someone that doesn't want to use a lot of stuff, I'm going to let you know if it worked on my face, okay? Something else that I wanted to test out. So this is from Pestle and Mortar. This is the NMF free acid value. It says on it 5.34 pH of 3.8. It's a lactic acid natural is what it says. This is moisturizing factor solution. Hydrate, brighten, and glow. This says it's infused with AHAs, PHAs, Indian gooseberry extract, and black tea. It says you can use it AM or PM. This is the same thing, I believe, AM or PM. I think you can use it AM and PM, but I'm not using it both because I am still using my truth treatments, okay? I'm sorry, I can't give that up. And if I'm going to be using anything, if I'm going to incorporate anything into my skincare, it's got to work with what I'm already using. So I'm not going to just exclusively use something on my face because I feel like I'm not going to not use other things. I'm still going to use it. So, but one of the things I like about this, again, I love the packaging. I love the simplicity and I love this. All you have to do is press down with a cotton and you got your product. I love how it's sealed. I love how it is. No mess. Love love that so far i'm going to tell you right now I'm, I'm enjoying using this product it's not irritating to me it doesn't i think i don't think there's any scent or anything to this but really really quickly i want to just talk about fragrance some since i'm saying scent i'm not going to get so uptight about the fragrance thing fragrance doesn't do any benefits for your skin but I do enjoy nice fragrance and, and skincare. Because sometimes there's something I'm going to mention that I'm trying right now and I don't like the scent of it. It's not horrible, but it's kind of like, mm, you know what I mean? And so the fragrance kind of adds to your experience of using something. If you have sensitive skin, then it's not good to use. I would say stay away from it. If you have really sensitive skin, if you have dry skin, then I would say try to go all fragrance free. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just not. I'm not saying to use stuff that has fragrance, but there are things I use. I use Colleen Rothschild. She does have fragrance and it's usually listed at the bottom. And that's, that's the thing is try it. If you're going to use something with fragrance, you want to make sure that's lower down. You want to make sure that whatever ingredients that you're using that you're paying for are listed more towards the top. So always look at the ingredients. So I try to make sure the key ingredients are listed at the top, not all the way at the bottom. So if it says this has peptides in it, but it's all the way at the bottom, then I'm not interested in because then I'm, I'm not getting much of it. Okay, so always look for that. An acid, you know right away if you're going to like it or not. It's not like this where I really feel like I need to use that one a little bit more than three to six days. You know what I'm saying? This is the Kate Somerville Peptide 8 Power Cream. It's Advanced Anti-Aging Moisturizer. I'm going to tell you that, okay, so this has a lot of peptides in it. So this is going to be really, really good for your skin. I don't know if it's enough of moisturizing for me, so I still use another moisturizer. And you're probably like, well, you're, that's a moisturizer. But this is how I feel about this moisturizer. I feel like it's a moisturizer that has a lot of good benefits for my skin. I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in a second. It has a lot of good benefits for my skin. 
So I feel like that's, it's almost like, it's not a serum, but I feel like that's what we use serums for. It's kind of like feeding my skin. So that's what I, how I look at this more than a moisturizer. So it does have, some, it does have moisturizing um, elements of it, but it also is good for your skin. So let me tell you a little bit about that. Now, if you're in your 20s and 30s, you don't spend the money on this. This is for somebody my age. I'm 54. I need all the help I can get. Okay, I just want to try to prevent my skin from sagging as much as possible. It's going to happen. Stuff's going to happen unless I get work done, which I'm not going to. So I'm doing what I can topically. Okay. So what this says in here, it's a peptide rich age repair power cream. It has an age defense moisturizer, which helps uh, skin repair. It's clinically proven to minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and have visibly smoothing effect on skin and helps with moisturization, which I don't have a lot of lines. You can see I don't. I mean, if I go like this, I do, but I don't, I don't have lines on my face. If I smile again, I have them under my eyes, but I don't in general have a lot of lines, but I don't want to get them. So I'm trying to prevent that. Okay. So I feel like even though I don't have it, I want to use something like this if it's going to help. Um, the ingredients in here, so this has ceramicides, peptides, has a moisturized uh, complex that says babasu and hemp seeds. This one's I'm not going to be able to pronounce, it's oleopeptide. So it basically has a lot of good peptides in it, which is really, really good. So um, ceramicide, peptide, and that is why I was interested in using this. So. Uh, it also has cannabis, stale, stevia, <laughs> seed oil, it has squalene in it, squalene, am I saying that right? Uh, macadamia seed oil, jojoba oil, um, I'm just going to glance it over because there's other things in there. Gra grapefruit pe peel, grapefruit peel oil in it. I also picked up the Kate Somerville line release. This is under the eye repair cream. So I don't have a, I don't have lines under my eyes in general. If you saw me right now, you'd be like, "What well, lines, girl?" When I smile, I have lines. I'm thinking maybe if it gets a little bit softer, is that possible? I don't know. But it also does more than that. So let me tell you a little bit about that. One of the things I like too is I like that it has a pump on it. I also like that you can see if it's getting empty. I really appreciate that. I'm going to be doing some um, drugstore as well. I'm going to be I'm going to be talking about drugstore skincare soon as well too. But I just have to finish this up. Okay. So it visibly smooths delicate eye area while lifting and contouring. Honey, that's what I'm looking for. Because I feel like I feel like my it's starting to sag a little bit, which makes my under eyes look like my dark see when I do that look at a miracle that's what I would like I don't want to get fillers I'm just trying this to see if this helps it's lightweight diminishes the look of fine lines smoothing instantly and combating expression lines over time targets age-related skin damage around the eyes to diminish the look of fine lines and wrinkles it minimizes the appearance of dark circles illuminates the entire eye area um, it's formulated to increase the appearance of skin firmness and combat signs of aging around the eye area. So that is why I'm using it. And some of the ingredients in this, uh, it has uh, hexapeptide. Says, I'm not going to say the first word right. So let's just, okay. It has a hexapeptide in it. It has tripeptide. It has matrixyl 3000. It's light diffusing pearls, vitamins A, C, and E, soybean protein, and hydrating cucumber extract. So those are the active ingredients, if you will. So I've only been using this so far at nighttime because when I tried doing it during the day, I felt like it didn't absorb enough under my eyes. So when I put my concealer on, it didn't it didn't work very well. So this is just only going to be used at nighttime. During the day, I'm using my Sunita's under eye cream, which I like because I feel like it really has helped my up puffy under eyes. I mean, I still have a slight little bit of it if you saw me, but very little. I feel like it's made a huge difference. So I'm going to keep using that. I will let you know what I think. S couple, two more things that I got from Kate Somerville. So I got the goat's milk cleanser and I got the goat's milk moisturizer. So let's talk about both of those. Now, as I said, I don't feel like this is enough of a moisturizer for me. I feel like I need a little bit more. 
So I've been using this one. It has that nice little pump on it, which I really like. It has a really, really nice fragrance to it too. I really like that. Um, it says you can use it AM and PM, use it every day, use a thin layer. It's even safe for, for sensitive skin. And one of the things that I like about this one and the, and the goat's milk is I like that it absorbs really nicely into my skin. I'm typing it up because I want to look at the ingredients. I like how it absorbs in my skin so it doesn't feel greasy or heavy or anything like that. So this is something, both of these, you can use under your makeup. So really, really nice for that. So what it says about the goat's milk, it says that it's safe to use on sensitive skin. It, um, it's, it says it's mildly exfoliating, deeply hydrating, and designed to support a healthy skin barrier. It's a daily facial moisturizer, delivers deep hydration, helps to repair damaged skin, creates a gorgeous, healthy looking complexion. And some of the key ingredients in it, it's a lactose from goat's milk, natural milk protein, jojoba and avocado, natural soothing aloe and grape seed oil and vitamin E. So I'm just going to tell you right now I'm really enjoying this. Really like this I'm enjoying as well but as far as the benefits I'm going to let you know on that okay. I have to use that for a while but this I can tell you I'm really really enjoying that. The cleanser is a gentle daily cleanser. It says that it is um, it says it's a nourishing face wash gently gently removes dirt oil and makeup okay so I don't agree with the makeup I feel like you need to use something a little bit more of like a balm to really get in there and loosen up your makeup so I am using my Colleen Rothschild's balm to, to uh, take my makeup off so this would be a double cleanse for me so I w I'm using this at night as a double cleanse I'm just usually I don't do a double cleanse but I'm using that for that just because I want to use it and I'm also using it this in the morning right now I probably go back to my Sunitas because I love that too but I just I just wanted to test this out for you guys and let you know so far I really like it I really do it feels nice on my skin it smells nice has a nice light fragrance really light fragrance in it um, but it's it helps not to it prevents so it cleans your makeup it cleans your face off and it doesn't strip any of the oils in it okay it's sulfite free um, it doesn't make your skin tight or anything after you use it but your skin is clean some of the key ingredients is goat's milk manuka honey jojoba and avocado oils so really really enjoying that something else that I started using and I just I mean I just started using this this isn't something that I'm going to use every day I just mentioned this in another video so I just thought I would throw it in there so you may have you saw me talk about this I've seen this all over TikTok lately it's nothing new it's been around for a while but you know how that's a, that is you know all of a sudden something will just get really popular again for whatever reason so this is from Dr. Jarth. This is the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. So what this is for, so this is a little sample of it, okay? This is a teeny tiny sample I got in a skincare bag that I'm going to use that skincare. I'm not mentioning any of it in this video, but you'll hear about it eventually, okay? But the reason I bought the bag is to get this because they were out of stock in this. Way to go, Sephora. Anyways, so... This is what it looks like. It's very thin in consistency. It's green, but once you put it into your skin on red areas, what it's going to do is it's going to neutralize with your skin tone and it's not going to look green anymore. It's really, it's weird. It's really weird stuff. It's really light. One thing I see people do on TikTok that I've seen, people are using way too much of this and they're putting it all over their face. Unless your face is red all over, I don't know why the hell you're putting it all over your face. You don't need to put this all over your face. Just put it in the areas that you need it. So if you have redness on your cheeks, put it there. If you have some redness here, which I have like by my nose, put it there. If you have a little red, you know, on a blemish, put it there. You don't have to put it all over your face. And what's nice about it is, is if you look, use something like this. This is from Glossier. I just shared this recently. This is a skin tint. It's very sheer you're going to see anything going on in your skin because it's a very, very sheer coverage. But if you're someone that just wants a hint of color, just to sort of even out your skin tone, but you can still see what's going on, 
then you're going to enjoy this. And the nice thing about this combination is that you can put this on those areas where you have that redness or maybe even use this first and put this on top. That's what I would do. Actually, I would put this on and then put this on because I feel like if it doesn't sit on long enough, unless you have time to let it sit on, if you don't let it sit on long enough, I feel like when you put something on over it, I feel like it can disturb it and it'll come off. Okay. But anyway, you just put this on the red areas that you have and then there you go. You can go have a no makeup look using this. So I really do like that. Um, let's talk about neck cream. Now, I was using the Is Clinical Neck Perfect. I really do enjoy using that. It's not anything that's going to do anything amazing on my neck, okay? I'm not going to... Um, I know that I'm not going to put it on and like my neck is going to be like, I'm not going to be like this. Okay. But let me show you what I want with my neck. Number one, I want to try to prevent any crepiness on my neck. I know that you, let me just say this. You don't have to use neck cream. Whatever you use on your face, you can put on your neck and your chest. Okay. But I am just testing some neck creams out because there's a lot of neck creams that are very mis- represented, representing, mis misinforming people. Am I saying that right? They are just sick. There's false claims. There's a lot of false claims with neck companies where they're making it seem like it's not just this, it's this, and this is going to get all firm, this part here. It hasn't happened yet. And I just feel like if it's going to work on anybody, it's going to work on me because my neck isn't terrible. Let me show you my profile. Okay, look. Oof. That's my profile, girl. Okay. So I just feel like if anything is going to work, it's going to work on my neck. And so I want to test it for you guys to save your money because there's so many times that people find some of my videos on the neck creams that I've used and they're like, I wish I would have seen this video sooner. So always share my videos because I know this is helpful to so many ladies. It helps save money because I'm not someone that loves everything. So anyways... So I decided to try this and this. This is a retinol. I know you're like, girl, I thought you liked your truth treatments. Honey, I love my truth treatments. But I'm just, I'm going to be testing some other things out, even though I always have my favorites. I'm going to test things out for you. All right? So I'm only using this on my neck. So I'm using this. This is from, and I'm showing this together because this is what I'm using on my neck right now. So I'm using the Neostrata. Uh, retinol repair it says it's firming of course any retinol is going to be firming but I'm just using this I'm just testing it out all right and the other thing that I'm testing out is this neck cream again it says firming on it and it says it's a triple firming neck cream that will help with crepey skin texture wrinkles lack of firmness uh, uneven tone on the decollete and the neck area so I had been using these together. So at nighttime, I use both of these. And during the day, I only use this. I'm going to use it and I will let you know what I think. I'm not hopeful with it. The thing that I do like about the Is Clinical is I do feel like when I put it on, I feel like it's firming. Not firming for this, but I did see a difference on my neck texture for me. So we'll see what happens with this. Um, I don't know. I'm not really feeling that when I put this on, but we will see. Uh, Nadine mentioned this and that's where I heard about it so I wanted to give it a try and I will let you guys know. The this oh my gosh I love this. This is the Wild Rose Beauty Balm. This is a, it says one pot wonder. It's for all skin types. Made in England. It smells freaking amazing. I don't even know how to describe the scent. It doesn't smell like roses. You think wild rose. Like maybe it would smell like rose. It doesn't. It just it smells wonderful. It really does. It doesn't have any parabens, synthetic colors, for, or fragrances. It's not tested on animals, and it has no GMOs in it. It's 99.6% uh, organic ingredients. It, the first ingredient is Rosa Cania fruit oil. It has a hoba seed oil in it. Um, it has uh, cannabis diva seed oil in it. Uh, Barajo officinalis seed oil, a lot of different things in here. So I wanted to try this and I will let you know what I think of it. So this is what you do with it. You can use it as a cleanser. 
you can use it as a mask. You can put some on, the, you know, at nighttime, sleep with it, in the morning, cleanse it off. You can use it as a spot mask or just a, like a just like a 10 minute mask you can put it on your face it comes with a muslin cloth so you can get like a warm muslin cloth and just lay it on your face and let that sit on for 10 minutes and rinse it off so there's different things you can do with it i just wanted to test it out and i will let you guys know what i think of it so this was gifted to me this was just gifted to me and it is called the mesama green robios Robios, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, pressed serum. So it looks like this. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. I'm not going to read a lot because there's a lot of information on this. Um, so I just started using this. I'm going to use it for a while. couple of negative things for me right now, but I'm going to keep using it. The two negative things right now that I'm going to tell you is not something that would prevent me from using it. If I'm seeing benefits on my skin, but I'm just, you guys know, I keep it real. I share everything, whether I, whatever it is, I'm going to share with you guys. Okay. I want to share the whole experience. So, you know what to expect. This tint, if you are pale like me, if you're light, you're going to get a little bit of tint on you. Okay. So when I put this, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on my hand as much, but I know, like, I thought I could see how that is. See how it kind of slightly changes my skin a little bit. I thought I, I put this on last night and when I was doing my skincare, I thought I cleaned my neck, but I didn't. I was using my, I was using this and I'm like, what the heck is this stuff? Did I not get my sunscreen? It was this. So this is going to lightly alter the skin, your skin tone a little bit. Okay. Just know that you can see it's kind of reminds me of when you are using a tinted sunscreen and you get that little bit of tint. That's what you're going to get if you're pale like me. If you have darker skin, you're not going to get that. I just want you to know that, okay? Also, I don't like the scent of it. It smells like tea, which for some people, that's okay because you like the smell of tea. I'm not really a fan of the smell of tea. Um, if it would smell like coffee, I'd probably love it, but I'm not a big fan. It's not, it's not a horrible scent. But it's kind of, it's not a pleasant scent for me. So I'm just being honest with you guys. But I'm going to keep using this because there's a lot of really good benefits of it. And I will let you know if, what it does to my skin if I have, if I see anything or not. From England, by the way. That's where this is originated. And it's a pressed serum. It's a high performance antioxidant serum formulated with Robios better known as Red Bush by its tea drinking devotees as a bioactive ingredient. It's uh, supposed to be an active pharmaceutical. It says Green Robios is an active pharmaceutical ing ingredient. It has, it comes from the unfermented leaves, has a much higher antioxidant content than Red Robios as flavonoids, have not been destroyed by oxidation. There's a whole thing. There's a whole thing on it. So basically, what this is supposed to do is help reduce inflammation caused by oxi oxidative stress. It's supposed to help repair damaged skin, restore the epidermal layers. It's supposed to protect and repair um, cells in fat tissue responsible for maintaining skin's f for fullness. You can use it AM or PM. I am using it in the AM and I am alternating it with this one. I will use this for a while before I tell you. I can't use it once and say whether I like it or not. Let's talk about this. This is the Glossier Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. So if you saw my assumptions video, you saw me use this. It comes in this pump like this. The pump is right like that. It's very, very light. It comes out kind of tinted. But it, I don't really see that on my skin like this. This I can definitely see on my skin. This I really can't see on my skin. See? Can't really see it. But it's really, really nice. Absorbs in your skin. Feels really nice on your skin. It's not something I'm going to use every day. Um, but you can, you, what you do is you use this in your last step of your skincare. So you do all of your skincare, your sunscreen, everything, and then you apply this. So it has nourishing oils that don't feel greasy. It immediately gives you a gleamy, well-moisturized look that lasts up to 12 hours. 
powerful plant-based extracts make your skin look brighter instantly over time and over time um, you use it in the last step of your skincare like I mentioned it doesn't interfere with your makeup it just makes it dewier it's vegan it's cruelty free active ingredients has four nourishing oils it has jojoba grapeseed evening primrose, primrose and rose hip seed oils suspended in water in an oil immersion creating cushiony silky formulation that hydrates thirsty skin while it nourishes avodia retocarpa extract it's a fruit extract known to increase brightness sugarcane squalene 100 percent plant-based ingredient that helps lock in moisture and light reflecting minerals gives all skin tones an immediate glow that lasts all day so i'm going to tell you i am really enjoying this it has skin benefits in it but i feel like it's um it's just something that works really well with makeup i feel like it's not something i would wear if i'm going to be wearing my mask but if i wanted to do a really light look if i want to do a no makeup look if i wanted to pair it with my glossier skin tint i as i said i i was wearing this in that video i did my assumptions video and so many of you guys said your skin looks amazing your makeup look, this is what i used okay so really do enjoy that that's something that i don't think i have to use for a while i think that the more i use it i'll see more skin benefits i will let you know on that but as far as how it looks under my makeup and working i really like that I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Would really appreciate it if you would share. You can follow me on all the socials and I will catch you guys on my next video. Bye. <laughs> Uneven sco stone scone. I'm hungry, girl. I need, drink. I need more than water today. <gasps> Big chunk of my video is missing. <laughs> <sighs> that's so nice. And I'd like to eat some lunch some dente. I will. <laughs> I'm actually filming this today on a Monday because uh, it didn't turn out. I'm reshooting it. Number two. This is number two times. Okay. This is from a camera. Okay. Let me get it together. Wait. This way. I can be annoying too. <laughs>